Hey everybody, this is Kat, Walk It Out, 1963. I am doing the second part of my Hello Kitty um, line polymer clay line art. I went ahead and I filled in the main face and as soon as I get done with the rest, I'll work more at smoothing this out. These little pieces of clay here is to hold my glass tray secure. This has already been baked, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the nose. I forgot my clay over there. Okay, we're going to do the nose, we're going to do this bow, and we're going to do this ear. So remember, when you're working with your clay, what's the rule? You go from light to medium to stain your hand for life. Well, red will stain your hands really easy. Okay, for this ear, you shouldn't need a whole lot. Okay, I'm doing this one-handed because I do not have a camera person. I think um, Ballisticade kind of like quit on me. She says, Mama, I have my own life. I'm sorry. But will you help me do my video on my, to on my tails? So, yeah, being a good mommy. Yeah, I'm hoping that for Valentine's Day my husband loves me and I'm, and gets me a new camera. He's sitting behind me. I hope he heard that. Did you hear that, honey? Honey? Oops, artillery hearing. Okay, but did you see how that was filled in? I'm adding a little bit more. The reason why is because you want it to be kind of flush with um, the line art that you put in there. You want it kind of like even and what are you doing to the dogs? But um, you want it kind of like even and then you can come back and smooth all that out. Okay. Now <laughs> oh God! My Dalmatian is fighting with my Chihuahua, and she just bullied him off of the couch. She, her head's as big as my Chihuahua. So I'll show you as soon as I'm done what I'm talking about. Okay, now let's do the nose. Whoops. Okay, and if you get any in there, just take your nail. And you can always remove it and smooth it out later. Okay. You see how that was dropped? Ugh. And remove the fur, the dog fur, if you happen to get a piece. They're running around my crafting area. Okay. You take that. You see how that was just pushed in there? And that piece don't look like it needs to be added. It just needs to be separated a little bit. That's when you get your little smoothing and from where you've already cooked that, just come in and remove that and set that piece off to the side. And the little dent that you got, now watch, you can take that dent and just kind of like push it in right there. And if you got a long fingernail that come, I always keep my pinky nails pretty long because then I can use them I can use them to push the clay in and out and manipulate it to where I need it to go yes dear that's a big word for me aren't you proud and so far this is how she looks she looks like one of those big cookies almost that you see in the store okay now we've got our are you're going to be stained for life clay okay what the oh, I love it when people get a hold of my clay and mix colors and oh crap hold on I gotta break off some red clay and kinda like condition it a little but you gotta have have your clay as soft as you can get it to be able to manipulate it into where it needs to go. 
and you try not to let it get everywhere but like I said like this spot here you can come back and just scrape it out with your nail but I keep all my nails cut short that way you know look there's already a dab in there that way it doesn't um, get in to any of the stuff okay and then you would take it and you would fill in this bit right here just fill it in as you can tell that one little piece of clay uh, filled everything in you see Oh, I hope nobody heard that. That was my stomach growling. That was not a dog. Huh. <sighs> you think after eating pizza, my stomach wouldn't growl. Okay, we're going to have to get some smaller pieces to go in here. Well, I think the Dalmatian gave up on fighting with the Chihuahua. Okay. Oh, I cannot wait to get a new camera with a tripod on it. That'd be so cool. Deer. Deer. He's ignoring me. You know how it is. For those who don't, old army men, it's called artillery hearing. Or better yet, if you've got grandparents and you know how your grandparents will sometimes ignore you and say that they can't hear you because of their old age, it's a lie. They can hear you. They're just ignoring you. I learned that from experience. But don't you tell them I said that because I don't want them to write me and yell at me. <laughs> because I'm not going to corrupt anybody's kids. But... My grandmother used to tell me that all the time, too. I can't hear you. You lie. Oh, sorry. But anywho, okay. Then you um, finish filling all this in. But you see what I mean? If I was to go and touch mine. Here, this will be scrap clay. But you see how, what can I say? I always work from light, uh, light to dark. Yeah. Now I have pink clay. And when you're working with this and you get over here next to where your white is, be very careful and try your best not to get it really in there. And try not to touch any part that is white because if you touch it, uh, you might as well be scraping a lot of that out and then replacing it with more white because it will be harder than a Dickens to get out that means you'll have to take out a big chunk but what I'm doing is I'm just removing that little bit so I can see my line and then I'll come in with my finger and smooth all of that out you see it's all smooth and I hate to say it but as soon as I get this one little part done um guess what color me done huh you get it color me done coloring book picture okay oh my gosh yes that is a 60 pound Dalmatian fighting with a 3 pound Chihuahua over who has pref preference to sit with their daddy. She's talking to him. She has turned out to, as a good dog. 
she come kind of came along at a good time she's never going to be like our shadow was but she's a good good girl she's griping at everything right now she's excited she's not outside okay here I'll let you have a sneak peek there's Nacho hi Nacho man are you a crazy dog there's Nacho there's Precious the big dog oh now she's gonna fight with her daddy and there's my baby girl Bubba's there's my Bubba's oh here she comes hi the Bubba's okay and I hate to say it but this is the end of my tutorial of the Hello Kitty bow and the next time you will see it I will have it baked and once I get it baked off of this pan I will show you how you will remove it. Okay, want to see what he's owing about? She has just pushed him over. For somebody, uh, it's your dog. Okay, but okay, this is how it looks on the bottom. You see, that's how it looks on the bottom. The bottom looks better than the top. Okay, and this is how it looks on the top. Okay, so let me go and bake it. And this is the end of this part of this tutorial of part two of the Hello Kitty. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.